Americans are forking over millions of dollars to go to haunted houses and get scared out of their minds. But did you know there's actually a science behind being scared? Jimmy Rhodes cracks open the coffin and breaks down the secrets of making you scream. You plan weeks in advance. You wait in line for hours. You know what's coming, and they still get you every time. <laughs> so how do they do it? Turns out there's a science to making you scream. <laughs> People that design haunted houses bring out some of the phobias that many adults have. Fears of being in the dark, fears of being buried alive, fears of being taken by surprise. I asked Ed Terebus, creator of one of the world's largest walk-through haunted houses, to break down some phobias in action. Let's play! <laughs> Here I'm directed down what appears to be a dark hallway by a creepy dude with a ceramic doll. This way! Thank you evil clowns sneak in behind me while I discover the hallway is a dead end. All right, this is a dead end. <laughs> then the smell of dirt is pumped into the room as I'm buried alive. Which brings us to scare strategy number two, engage all the senses. Okay, what you're seeing, what you're smelling, what you're touching, what you're feeling, what you're hearing, uh, I mean, all that in one package and then have it all happen at one time is almost overwhelming. Next up, misdirection and timing. A small scare oh, sets up a bigger scare. <laughs> Sometimes I have to scare you to allow you to let your levels down a little bit and then hit you with the good one. So the psychology of this is distract and then a sucker punch. Correct. Each year, all across the country, hundreds of thousands of people seek out haunted houses. When we conquer our phobias, there is a physiological reinforcement. It's like a high. It's like an addiction. So this Halloween season, have fun getting scared out of your wits.